Hello, this is Lance. Thanks for joining me today. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Today I'm going to do a little seascape water painting with a pretty cool sky. I had somebody on my on the YouTube asked to do a time lapse of that. So here we go. Okay, I'll get my glasses on so I can kind of see. Um, we're going to start out. What I did is I got I painted the canvas black with acrylic, and uh, black with acrylic, and then uh, put some down here. I got some blue and some. Uh, thalo green and a little brown down here in the water and then up here is the horizon i got some indian yellow it's semi-transparent you can see it but it should get brighter when i blend it and then here i've got some crimson and some and i use prussian blue today it's a darker blue so let's see how this goes do i want to try something else real quick here i'm going to put my finger right here and that should lock it so it doesn't get blurry i don't know i'm going to use a little bit of paint and we're going to start right here see what it does oh yeah hey eh? that doesn't look too bad and we're just going to blend it up right into the sky this little brush works good i can kind of have some more control with it on these smaller canvases and uh yeah go in and work your way up back and forth and you'll see when we start grabbing the blue, it'll start getting bluish. And there it is. Some of that Prussian blue. I hope I got enough of it up there. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. We can add some more Prussian blue too. I'm just letting the uh, paints kind of just kind of coming off, and there. And it doesn't have to be uh, super dark blue up there, you know. All right, that doesn't look too bad, does it? Okay, and we can come in and maybe add a little more Prussian up there in the in the in the top, right up here. There we go. See that dark? That'll make it kind of makes gives it a little more depth if you get these corners darker. There, bring it down here maybe a little bit, kind of round it. It'll kill that crimson fast. Blue is a lot stronger than crimson, and the crimson will eat up the, the, uh, let's bring that down a little farther. There. That crimson will eat up the yellow, too, if we get too far in there. So, bring that down a little more, a little darker. There. Looks good. Good color there. Skies are, skies are pretty, pretty easy, you know, kind of blurry. It comes the cat. We're going to have to close this door. The cats get a little uh, annoying when I'm painting, so let's see. Did I? Yeah, that looks all right. Okay, so we got that started, and what we can do is we can come in and even make it brighter in the middle. So what I'll have to do is I'm going to grab another little brush like this guy, another one of these, uh, not too expensive, put a little more paint on them, and we're going to come right in here and start right in the middle again work our way out don't don't go back into the center with with uh, a, the dirty brush or you you won't be happy with yourself okay do one more right here maybe pink there blend that up now the pink and the blue will be fine because or the the purple whatever color it is Kind of that crimson and blue will make a lavender color, so that won't be bad. We'll kind of blend it into there. There. Kind of blends it out into the sky. Kind of gives it a... Don't look too bad. Um, so then I'm going to take and get a larger brush. Some of my brushes are... I, I don't take great care of my brushes, I've noticed. I'm going to take my finger and make this really bright right there. Like a little bright spot. There. Not that the sun will be there, but when we blend this out a little bit, it'll it'll make it look good, maybe. So we'll come in here. There. See, it kind of picks up that, that white. And then you can just kind of work your way out with this guy, like we've done before. Skies are pretty easy when you're using oils with a medium under it, like this. And, and I think we might keep the top kind of dark. I think that looks good. We don't want to make it too light. I think it looks... Pretty good like that. 
That kind of grabs the old eye there. Huh? This one might sell. Come over here and blend that right there. There. Wipe the brush off, bang it, whatever. Get some of that paint off. I was recently reading where they... And then just go across here and get out the brush marks. We don't, I was reading where they want you using paint thinner anymore on these things, but I don't know. I usually just take them and use paint thinner to clean them, and now they want you using soap and water. So I don't know. We'll see. So there, we got our horizon line. Now we're going to come in here. And there. That's the only way Lance is going to get a straight horizon line. So we'll, look at that. That looks pretty good right there, huh? And so we'll do that. Now we got to take and grab this blue brush I had. We got to come up here and scrub in some, some blue up to the horizon. I don't want to get too close because I don't want to get some of this Prussian blue there. And the rest of this is wet on the bottom. I, I did it. I put some of that liquid medium. It's a clear medium. It just makes everything slick. One thing about these black canvases is I got to be really good in here and get got to be careful not to get uh, you can pull some of that medium up there too. Got to be careful with the glare so I don't have a very good studio. I just have a basement a room in my basement. I have it all set up in and it works pretty good, but I've noticed that the window is probably the biggest culprit. So I just put the shade down and got some lights there and move around and there. There, and just you don't have to get all the way to the horizon. There. So there. Boy, that looks good the way it is. We could just leave it right there and be done. Um, I hope I can get done with this quickly. I got a lot going on today. So I think I'm gonna use this guy, and we're just gonna kind of come in with a fan brush, and I'm gonna make some little things here with white, just like we did. Just stuck my hand in the white. It's okay. Um, it's pretty thick white. Good. I'm using a plate for my white today because I'm just, that works a little better. Let's see here, and I'm gonna use this fan brush that I was cleaning and I broke off. And we'll just take a little paint on the fan brush. Not much. And I'm just gonna see if this is gonna work very good. We're just gonna come in here by the horizon. This is gonna be tough. We're gonna start right here. I'm just gonna kinda go back and forth. A little back and forth. And honestly, I think it might be easier to might be easier just to use a, a smaller brush. But see, I just kind of go back and forth and rock, and it gives you the it looks like water. You know, I'm not very patient, so I I can't spend like four days painting water. It just doesn't work for me. But that's got a good little look to it, I think. And then you know, as you get farther away. This is the brightest part right there, right? There, it's kind of make these little ups and downs and troughs and things in the water, but. And as it gets farther out, you use less paint on the brush and get darker. I'm just going to go up and down and you can just see some nice little watery looking things there. Looks pretty good, huh? Start in the middle again, and just kind of take your time, kind of a little here and there. This, this brush ain't that bad. And you get over here. I'm just going up and down and trying to make a nice little watery look there. There, in the middle here. Gonna kind of have a little light and then it'll get wider, maybe as it goes here. We can come back in now. I want to put some bigger waves in the front, so I'm gonna kind of bring this out and I'm gonna kind of stop it here in a little bit. But we can, and I'm gonna take that now. I'm gonna wipe some of this white off of this brush and I'm gonna come back in here and just do some more lighter, lighter over here, maybe even leave it dark on the edge there. I don't think you can mess this up, can you? This is so easy. I can do it. Anybody can do it. 
I can't even draw stick men. And see over here, you got that. And there's going to pick up some phthalo green will come in here too. But you want to make these little rocky strokes. Okay. And I think that's as far as I'm going to go with that. We can come back in and make some more over here. And on the very top, I might come in with a little, with a brush up here. And I might come in with a, a knife and just tap up there and make some little indications there. So I think that's what we might do there. So the next thing I'm going to do is take a little, this, this brush here. And uh, I think the water's kind of going this way, isn't it? So I always want it. And I'm just going to take, put some white on it. And I'm going to make some distant waves that are kind of coming maybe at an angle this way, maybe, huh? So maybe we got one back here, and it's just kind of coming down. And it kind of comes up and down and just some things. And then there, goes to there. Doesn't look too bad. Bring him off there, maybe. Okay, and one there. And maybe we'll put another one in... Uh, We'll go behind him again. Just we'll put one back here. I want a bigger wave in the front, so and then maybe we can come in here and have another one, you know, and just kind of make it opposite of that, and then just kind of let them flow off of there. There, so you got a couple bigger waves there that are coming in, and this is pretty easy. We're going to take this little brush here. We could use the same one actually. I just want to wipe it off a little bit everywhere let's see I'm gonna use the same fan brush I had and then I'm just gonna grab the back of these and and lead, and pull it back so I'm just gonna kind of go this way because they're kind of coming in like this we'll just watch this you just take this pull it back pull it way back and just take the top and pull it back You're really worried about the dark, this area here, okay? There, so it gives you a little bit of a, a little bit of a wave there, okay? And then this one here, we're going to do the same thing, and we're going to just kind of blend it back into the other one. I don't want it super bright. We're going to have another wave in here, so I'm just kind of blending those waves back, the top of them. Put that there and there. And we can come back through and add some stuff. So it looks like they're kind of coming in and, and we can put some more white on them here in a minute if we want. Um, and blend it back even more. And I can use maybe here. Let's try this guy. He's a little he might give us a little more to work with here. So we can come back in here and get some more white on the top of them. And just kind of come in here and in the middle there, maybe a little brighter. There, comes down and there. Pull this guy over this way. There, now watch this. Take that again with this brush and we'll blend that back again, okay? Or do we want to go forward with it? Let's see here. I don't think we want to go this way. I want to go back. There. Pull that paint and do this. That gives a little highlight there. So there, you got your wave there kind of crashing in. It might be a little too bright for right in here, but it's all right. And then we can do the other one in front of him. Come back in, get a little paint on there. Pull that up. Same thing. Pull that. Get a little brighter right there. Get that in there. And come back with this little guy and just blend it back in there. Keep those, don't kill all that dark though, okay? And I'm just coming like this. Maybe it's kind of angling that way a little bit. There, this one this way. My head's not in the way. There, so now I kind of got some bigger waves in the front there. They got some good color on them. You know, and I don't know, but we, we can probably come in and darken the outside a little bit there. Might be a little too much there. And that could be easy. We could just take and grab another one. 
another little sand brush here. A lot of them, or any type of brush. And just come in and this will look, I'll be fine. Get some of that dark. Just kind of come in here and pull that back in there a little bit. See, if it gets too bright over here, we don't want too much. See that dark in there? Let's keep that dark underneath there. That's what you want. That keeps the depth of there. That kind of knows it's coming in that way. How's that? Okay, and you can do that back here a little bit. A little bit there. Yeah, I just want to darken it on the edges here. That's farther from the light. Might make it look a little better. There. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. That little little guy coming in there. I'm going through the brushes today. Yeah, it's St. Patrick's Day, so I bet it's going to be busy in Butte, Montana today because it's definitely uh, um, that's an Irish town. I used to live there. It's very fun too. Um, but I bet they're doing it right in Butte today. Let's get a little more dark in here. Get a little more dark under there. Maybe that's coming that way a little bit. I don't know. There. A little bit in there. There. So there, you got your waves, and they're kind of they're looking pretty good there. Got a little bit of dark in here. We can come back and darken some of this a little bit more. Maybe we can come back in and... There. I don't want to don't wanna ruin it, but there. Because I'm going to have a bigger wave in the front here, and we're going to do him. We're going to make him here now take that filbert brush that i had then we're going to come in and kind of bring him in so he is going to be coming in and maybe he is going to be right in front here he might even go over that one so but maybe he comes and goes like here bigger wave and then he comes up and down and this way okay just do it it's not that hard and then see the greens coming in there? I don't know if you can see that or not. But maybe he crashes and comes this way. And we'll have a crasher there. And then maybe it'll come here you know, and all this. So we'll do that. And we're going to have a nice crasher wave in there. Okay? And then uh, same thing. We can come in, get this nice little fan brush, which might be a little too big, but that's all right. And then we're just going to kind of come in and, We'll take the top of this guy, and we're going to have some fun. We can pull him down if we want, because the wave's going to be coming this way. We don't want it this way, right? It's going to kind of come this way. We're just going to pull a little bit there, just to kind of see how that wave's going to go. And then it's going to come in here, and it's going to kind of come that way. Sorry, I'm rattling everything, but you kind of got an idea what that wave's going to do there, right? And then it might come over here. and maybe go up maybe there'll be some stuff coming up there we can kind of look at that and, and make some splashes and stuff but we'll see how that goes um okay so we can got we got that going we're gonna pull some of that down and then behind it again we can come in and maybe we could do a little pull a little of that down you know mix it up a little bit there and you got that wave. You don't want to wreck it, right? And you could pull that back a little bit here or there, maybe. Something like that. Okay. And that looks pretty good. So we're going to leave that the way it is. Okay, over here, we can kind of blend him back a little bit. You know, we don't know. Maybe some of that goes back into there. And you got your troughs and stuff. And kind of gives a little indication in there but that doesn't look too bad so next thing we're going to do with this wave is we're going to put some uh oh what are we going to put some yellow in there i'm going to scrub some yellow in so i need another so we're going to make a bright shiny little spot in the middle so i'm going to get a filbert brush another filbert and we're going to go right in here give me some yellow i should have i probably have too much and i'm going to use a bright yellow here now I probably should have done. Just wiped out some of this dark blue in here. Because we're gonna have that in there. But watch this. I'll go in and all this does is take away paint. We want a little yellow in here. Maybe it's shining in through the back of that. 
see, 20 minutes, not bad. So we're going to take a little paint, a little yellow. We're going to come right in here. Try not to do that. And we're just going to scrub it in. See that? One more. And this is uh, just a yellow. Um, there. A little bit over there. It doesn't have to be too. And it's kind of turning green, but that's okay, right? Because we are in the... We're in the water, so and it might come down this way a little bit. I don't know, maybe a little white in there. See what the white might do. Oh yeah, there we go. A little more of that yellow, maybe a little Indian yellow in there. There. Okay, and we'll just kind of make it go that way and blend it there. So there, you gotta have a little bit of a, a little bit of a light shining through. A little more white in there. I don't know. There. A little bit of greenish looking. And it might come down that way a little bit. So you got the eye of that coming in and it kind of goes in and maybe catches on there and goes there. I don't know. We're going to come in and work on this some more. Make that a little rounder down there. We might get into the brown here. I don't know if we're going to have any water in it or dirt in it or not. We're just kind of kind of coming in and looking at it and seeing. So then we're going to take and we're going to take a, one of these brushes and we're going to blend that. We're just going to come in and just kind of take the top of it, and blend that in there. We'll kind of make it soft and kind of look like a, there. See that? A little eye of the, maybe that blends down a little bit. I haven't done one of these in a while, so hopefully it turns out. So, yeah, that gives it a little, that looks all right, I guess. Huh? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in, and I'm going to take my, that fan brush again. I need another one, and I'm going to take, I'll just grab a new one. Oh, we got lots of brushes. Here's a little one. This one, that one's all beat up. I don't want that one. And this guy right here might do. Yeah. Nope. There he is. This one. So we're going to come in and grab some dark right here. And we're going to bring that dark. We're going to come over here and go like this. Because you're going to have some a tough one there. One more dark. And bring that over. And that's going to just come. Go that way. See, just kind of pull that, that wave's going to come that way, okay? And then we'll kind of pull it all over and pull, just kind of go that way and down and that way and that way. So that looks like it's going to be pulling that way and there'll be a little lip there that's going to come down and you can pull it there, maybe make it down a little more. There, just like that. And you'll see here in a second what, what we're going to do. We're going to come back in with this guy and some white, a little bit of white, and we're just going to take and pull from there and come in and go there. Not too bad, does it? You don't want these to get too round. You want them to kind of be over and just kind of away like that. They're not easy. But if you practice them, we'll practice. See that? I can see where the water's going to crash. And I should be using a thinner paint. But that looks, that looks like it'll be fine there, right? Okay, so we got that. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in. And I'm going to take this, this, where is it? I need to, uh, yeah, this guy, this little filbert brush. And we're going to come in. And we're going to kind of go right alongside of this guy. And we're going to put in some, uh, first thing we got to do is we're going to do some dark in there. That's what I need to do. So I'll get another filbert brush. It's always good to have lots of brushes, huh? And I have a, this one, that's not the one I want. This guy will work, I guess. He's a little bigger than I want. I want to come in with some dark. And then we're just going to kind of come in here and we're going to just kind of go in here and 
push in some dark, lots of dark, okay? And that's going to come down, like maybe there's a some dark in there, some black in there. This is just the Prussian blue, and we're going to push it up here, right along the top of there, like it's going to, it'll, it'll come in pretty good here in a bit. You got all that dark in there. And you know what I could do, rather than, I'm going to mix some crimson in there. Ooh, that might look nice. That'll darken it up for us. And we're just pushing that in there. There. And then it's going to come down maybe here. Where the cl goes way down. And then here. And it gets on the bottom of this. And we're just using crimson and, and Prussian blue. And maybe it'll come up over here. Okay, and we'll have like a crasher right there. And then over here. We're going to have some more and just kind of bring it on there. You know, and you can also use a little fan brush to get like down here. And you can just do this with a fan brush, you know, and just and let that kind of ease its way out because it'll, it'll be to there, there, there. And we'll kind of let that go that way. So now we'll come back in with this other filbert brush and we got the white on there. Okay. And then we'll just come in and we're going to highlight the top of it. So we'll start here and just touch. And we're going to come down. Get that paint on there. Okay. And there's a lot of white paint. We're just kind of smashing that in. Lots of paint. And I should have thinned it a little, but it might go up here. Right there. See that? And just make some nice little, because you know it's crashing down there. And you're going to have that top. Nice white there, and then it's going to come over here, and it's going to crash over here. Now on here, just on the top, and then you might take and just kind of let it blend down to there. Okay, so you got that wave coming over; it's crashing. Looks pretty good, right? We might want to get some more white. I think I'm going to have to thin it a little, but we can come back through. So now we got that. So now what we're going to do? is we're going to take and this brush again, hopefully he works, and we're just going to come in here and start stirring some of this up where they meet, okay, because there's some there and there, and we're just going to kind of come in and do that, get that in there and just go around it. It kind of gives a little, there, that's starting to look like a wave, isn't it? A little bit better than it did, kind of has a little blast there and then you come down here and you light right where they meet and then you can kind of follow it up here i'm wiping my brush off too but that kind of crashes over and maybe it comes up here and you just let's do this hat there it is don't try to kill that that stuff that's coming over there you want to keep that so that's a pretty good looking wave i was hoping it would turn out <laughs> oh i don't know it's hard painting fast. It, I can I don't know how you know I'm learning, but it's it can be difficult. So there. So now you got a nice little crasher wave there, a little sunset. And uh, how are we doing on time? I'm usually about 40 minutes, and we're at 28. I think this one will be done in time. I really do. And we're gonna put some more highlights on these here in a minute. But I got to get some thinner paint. So I need some of this liquid, this white medium. And it'll really thin it without too much. And I'm going to put it right in here with my white bucket. Oops. I got white all over my fingers. Something to wipe my hands on. There. That one's got a bunch of paint in it. So I got some white medium. I'm going to take, oop, drop that. There. So I'm going to take the same brush. This, this guy, and I'm going to come in, and I'm going to get some more white, but I'm going to make it a little thinner, okay? This way it should stick on top, because we need some more highlights on those, don't you think? There, see how this goes. And we're going to come in here and just push up, okay? Push up sideways like this. Bring it in. Get some of the paint on there. There. It's almost pure white medium. Just kind of 
over there. Ooh, that's a lot. Now remember, as you get this white on there, uh, this medium, the thinner it gets, the harder it is to blend, but I think we'll be all right. There, and that just kind of comes down and maybe just taps like this. You know, just there, so you got that. So it looks funny now, but I think if we blend it out right, it might turn out pretty good. We'll see. Kind of looked good the way it was, didn't it? <laughs> so we just take the end of this white brush and just stir it up again. And try to leave that top so it's, you know, you're not killing all the dark. And there. Not too bad, does it? Stir this. Same thing where the two colors meet. Stir them up. There. See that? Gives a little more white. A little more action. There. There. And then you got your wave. It's crashing and flying over there. You got some cool colors in there. And then old Lancer wants to try something else here, though. So we're going to come in here and I'm going to take some of this white. I want to come in here and try to make this a little better right here. There. See? Kind of gives you an idea it's coming that way. That's rolling over. This brush ain't that good. It's too. Okay. Over. And there. Over. There. Over. So it's kind of crushing down in there, and you can kind of see where it's rolling. And that's going in there, and that's good. Um, I'm going to grab a. Uh, Let's see here. I'm going to grab one of these. Did I try one of my new brushes? Yeah. Yeah. Not. That one's not quite ready. Then you can grab like this little guy here, and we're going to use him, get some white and some blue. It's pretty thin. Then you can come down here and just take this and just kind of, you know, there. Your wave might just kind of come down there and just kind of give him a little. Right on the top there and there. So you can kind of see that a little bit. Okay. And you can do it on these ones too a little bit. Maybe highlight them a little bit. It can stand out. This is just, that one looks okay. That one there. You can come in and do this. Whatever. There. You know, that kind of looks good. That's pretty bright right there. So we can see what you can do. There. Kind of blend it back. See? Right there too, but he is there, and you can kind of get some little things happening, and then back in here you can come in and you add a little stuff back here. No, remember it was whiter there. You use that other brush. You can come in and put some more light in there where the sun is. Kind of glistens right through there the most, and then it comes in, and there's your there's your there's your guy. So there's another thing I want to try here. I want to try to get a little more dark down here. Okay. Make this a little darker. Right where that goes. See that? And you can come back in and then some more of that dark and that crimson in there, you know. Just kind of makes the edge of that, you know, and you come up there and throw a little over here. There. Kind of gives it a little and then again you can come in. This one's going all right. I'm and you can come in here, kind of just twist it up again, right? Maybe that's going that way a little. See that dark, you know? Light against dark, you can't. Light against dark, you got to have it, okay? There, so that kind of does that. That doesn't look bad. A little crasher wave. Another thing you can do, I learned, you take some white, this thin white. Oh, boy, hope we don't mess it up. Take that on there and come over here. We can go. See that? Look at that waterfall. Oop, don't get it in the sky too much. But you can get some crashing, like there's some little things crashing over there and little water things spouting up. That simple. Done. Don't do any more. Now, down below, maybe there is a little bit of. You know, we can take that same brush and maybe there's a little bit of uh, 
something coming down the bottom there. So we'll mix that up, just some white on this little guy. Oh, I got a mess here, but we're almost done, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. We're going to come down here with this guy. How thin I want it, but maybe this guy here. Pull it out flat. Just trying to get some paint here. And then we're just going to kind of maybe ugh, come down here, and we're going to start over here, and maybe there. Actually, I want to do something else too, though. I'm going to take some of the white here. You want to get a little bit of, let's pull this down a little bit, give it a little more of a, you know, angle, right? Like it's coming this way, and then as farther you get, you want to kind of angle it down just that way. See, now you kind of got a little more. Then, where's that blender? We can use this guy that I was using to blend everything. And you can come in here and just pull that down. See? Pull that. Pull, 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 pull. Maybe a little bit here. Right into there. See how that's kind of... There, so now it kind of gives you a little more of a... Ta-da! All right. Get this thing wrapped up. And then maybe there's some... Uh... Oh, maybe there's a little bit of... Uh... You know, some ground down here and a little something coming in here. Okay. And you just kind of come in here and, and just kind of angle it. Pressing hard, you know, and there's a little something coming in underneath it there. Okay. Kind of got a little bit away from us over here, but we can come back in and fix that. Doesn't matter really. Grab that and you know, and just kind of make a little watery things coming in. Like there's something under there. See that? That doesn't look bad. Okay. And if you want, if it's too much, you can come in and scrape it up. Do that. And come in and just kind of do some more stuff. You know, because we are doesn't matter. There. There's some brown down here we can put in. Maybe it comes down a little bit there into the bottom. And then you can take, you can take, 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 take. I need another brush that I can use. Maybe something like this little guy here, or let's see. I know I have another new one I haven't used in here. Where is it? Right, this guy. Yeah, this little guy here. And then you can pull, pull that that way if you want. This can go this way just to make it, you can pull it down. And then go across to make it look sheeny, you know, like, since I screwed it up, I'll show you how you fix it. There, you got a little sand down there, and just something like that on the bottom of there. Maybe it's a little bit like that. Comes over. I don't know how realistic that is. And then you got a little water line there, and that pulls, maybe that goes into there a little bit. I don't know. You just take it all and just kind of blend it over. There. Okay, angle this way a little bit. You know, and you still you can come down and and grab that big brush again and just pull that stuff down. And then again, pull that down there. Kind of keep that in there. I don't like that. I kind of got too much going, but you know what I'm doing here. And you can come back in anytime. You can come back in with a little dark. See. Fix it. So you can fix it. More dark, 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 dark. Pull that in there. Something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. You have all kinds of little squiggly things in there. I want that to stay darker though. So we're going to come back in and get some crimson and blue and just darken this. This is nice and dark. There. There. A little more blue in there. So there. That's kind of, that looks better. It was too, I, I thought it got a little too light there, but, and then right here, you can put a little more right here. You know? The darker it is near that yellow, 
the better it'll look, right? Yeah, just get a little bit of something going on there. And that doesn't look too bad. Another thing you can do, I know I have a liner here somewhere. What do I do with that liner brush? I don't have a liner brush. There it is. Come in there, and you can take some dark, and you can kind of thin, though, don't we? Take some of that dark crimson and stuff, and then you can come in, like, right under here. There. Come in right under here and kind of just outline this. Get a little outline in there. That's not dark enough. It's black. And just kind of go through here and just kind of there you know and over there maybe the wave comes down and over here you can just kind of outline that gives a little outline there i think black would have been a good color to have here you know maybe got a little round but that's okay kind of go around him and gives a little little kind of cool little line underneath there and there so you're cl you're your waves crashing it's burning you can have some fun there i think we're about done i'm going to try one more thing i see get a little more right don't you think there a little more right there how's that look i can look a little more there then we can get this old blender guy again and just kind of kind of swirl it up like that right there that doesn't look too bad he kind of got a little wonky on us didn't he that that wave but that's all right you could i mean we can come in and and round it some more i kind of kind of got up there a little ways but we could try to fix that other way but that doesn't look too bad i think uh, i think that'll be it there's our wave i think we'll leave it there and uh we should be done here in a second. I see I see one thing I want to try to do. Maybe highlight that a little more. It's a pretty good color there, though. And maybe we can bring this down a little farther, too. There. And I'll bring that wave down. Give him a little more look there. And then underneath there looks good. Um, yeah, I think that wave's looking pretty good. Um... You can also come in and, and do some of these little things because there's always little things coming down in the wave, you know, and little little things like this and little, uh, little things that are in the water and whatnot. And little, just kind of coming through and little things down here maybe. A little bit in there. There's always little indications and stuff, you know, coming in. And it gives you little little things happening in there. So there it is. I think we'll call that one good and uh, for today. And I don't think I'm going to put any trees or anything in it. But uh, there's a nice little crashing wave that's coming in. And I uh, hope you like it. And uh, have a good day. Happy St. Patty's Day.